Brookhaven police suck. Today, I opened a fake police station, posted a billboard, and pretended to be a cop. Drop a like and subscribe to help me get to 100,000 subscribers, and I'll chug a cola. And I got my boy Carrie here with me. He is going to help me run the police station and kind of just, you know, like, overlook everything just in case I'm not here. Hey, Carrie, anything yet? Nothing yet, Todd. Wait, we're getting a call. You answer it. I get nervous on the phone. Oh, okay, Carrie. Hold on one second. Hello, Brookhaven Police. How may I help you? I need the police officers over here to my house immediately. I'm in plot 18. Now. Oh, my God, Carrie. There seems to be an emergency over at plot 18. Go take care of it. I'll be here. You got it, Carrie. All right, guys, let me just hop in the Brookhaven police van over here, and we got to go help that lady. And guys, I know what you're thinking, bro. Like, you can't just pretend to be a cop, put on a cop uniform. Like, that's illegal. And you know what, guys? I got this uniform over at Rockstar Clothing. So first off, take it up with them, not me. And guys, the Brookhaven police suck, okay? There have been so many occasions where I've called them, and they haven't shown up. Brookhaven police, my house is being robbed. <laughs> Brookhaven police, somebody's robbing me. So you know what? I am doing something about it, guys. And I also know what you're thinking. Todd, it's illegal to lie about being a police officer. Well, you know what? That's why as long as I don't say I'm actually like a Brookhaven police officer, um, I'm all good. Like, I'll just say I'm like a Brookhaven police officer or something, okay? And wait, okay, I'm actually here right now. This is plot 18, guys. And uh, let me just ring the doorbell and see what's going on here. Deal with the emergency. Oh, and I see the lady right now and... She does not look happy, let me tell you. Hello? It took you long enough to get here. Ma'am, please tell me what's going on. Literally, like, um, my neighbor, he's so dang annoying, like, the music over there is insanely loud, and I am done dealing with it. You need to go over there and arrest him now. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't believe I can arrest him over a noise complaint, but I can go over there and tell him to turn the music down. City ordinance, you know? I don't care what you have to do. You better get your butt over there right now. You work for me, remember? Oh, my God. Okay, well, geez, lady, fine. All right, I'll go over there right now and try and talk to your neighbor. Just stay here and stay calm. I mean, they're trying to freaking cook. Cook. Yes, that's what that is. Okay, okay, lady. I'll, I'll be back. All right, guys. Let me go over here right now. I'm actually going to pull up in the police van. God, that lady was uh, tense, bro. Jeez. All right, guys. And I'm walking up to this guy's door right now. He's got a pretty red house. Pretty cool, actually. I kind of like it. But, um, you know, if he's playing music too loud and is bothering his neighbor, then that's not cool, bro. And to be honest, I, I don't hear any music right now. It's like... Pretty much dead silent, bro. Like, where the heck is this guy? And wait, there he is on the couch, and he's watching cops. Oh, uh, hello. I'm knocking on the window here, sir. Oh, he's coming. All right. All right, guys. Jeez. All right. What the heck was that guy doing? Hey, what's up, officer? Hello there, sir. Sorry to bother you, but uh, do you know anything about a noise complaint from your neighbor? Noise complaint from my neighbor? Bro, are you kidding me? This is like the 12th time she's called the noise complaint on me, bro. I'm literally... There's no... Do you hear anything loud here? Uh, I, I, I don't hear anything loud right now. Uh, sir, no, I, I don't hear any noise. I'm sorry, but like, you know, your neighbor did call and I'm just calling to investigate. Bro, I'm the one that should be calling about her, her and her stinky, smelly cooking. It's terrible. Bro, she stinks the whole neighborhood up with that cooking. Uh, I did smell a little something stinky over there. I will be honest. No noise. I hear it constantly. My cooking is amazing. Okay, guys, calm down. Your cooking stinks. That Yo, cooking, that it's so terrible. I mean, my so my nose, I want to rip it off sometimes. Oh God, I, I really hate the fact that I can smell your cooking I'm sometimes. You are literally the worst neighbor ever. Hey, you two, calm down, all right? What the heck is going on over here? I see you two got some neighborly beef, but no, this is not how you handle it. If you two do not calm down, I will have to place you both under arrest. Just stop it on the racket. Wait, guys, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, you two, calm down while I answer this. Oh, it's from Carrie. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Todd, I need you back over here at the police station immediately. There's some lady here saying she's been robbed. Been robbed? It smells like garbage. My cooking isn't the problem. Your loud noises. Okay, Carrie. Uh, I got something I'm dealing with over here, but don't worry. I'll deal with it and I'll get back over to the police station immediately. You've just got no taste in music. Are right, you two. I didn't want to have to do this, but I gotta go. So you're both under arrest. You too, lady. What? This hey, is your fault. Your stinking cooking it smells horrible. No, this is okay, your fault. both of you. In the back of the cop car. Let's go. Stop bickering. In the back of the cop car. We gotta go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, guys, I got to get them back over to the police station, and I'm just going to put them in a holding cell for now until I figure out what the heck to do with them, bro. You stupid idiot. You with that dang music. I swear, I'm going to break every speaker in that house. Lady, I'm telling you, if you don't close your window the next time you cook spinach casserole, I'm going to kill you. Whoa, hey, what's going on back there? Keep it down. Jeez, guys, they got some real neighborly beef, like... All right, guys, pulling back up to the police station, and there wasn't any room, actually... Hold on, I got to make sure I pull it in right. Gary, what's up? Hold on one second, okay? I got these criminals over here, and uh, I need to make sure I put them in the holding cell for the time being. What is this place? This isn't the Brookhaven police station. Yeah, yeah, lady, come on, let's go. Hey, Gary. These are the two criminals I arrested earlier, bro. Ugh, they have been so annoying. 
I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you. Not oh. a criminal, huh? Well, uh, 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 um, disturbing the peace. Yeah, that's a criminal act. Your cooking is illegally stinky. All right, you two, follow me into the cells. Guys, we didn't have any room downstairs for the cells, so I had to put them up on the roof. Um, but uh, I really kind of feel bad because these guys are probably going to get cooked in the sun. I hate you. Look what you did. I hate you more. All right, you two. Well, you have fun bickering up here, all right? I got to go deal with another police matter. Jeez, guys, some neighbors. All right, guys. Carrie said this lady's here and she was just robbed, so I'm gonna actually deal with that right now. Okay, Carrie, any info she told you? Just that she was robbed. Okay, I'll see what else I can find out. Hello there, ma'am. I heard about what happened. How can I help you? And uh, guys, this lady right here has a giant bird sitting on top of her head. What the heck? Oh, I need some help. Ma'am, you can't have that bird in here. I'm sorry. He's my friend. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, sorry, ma'am. Okay, the bird can stay. The bird is staying. Okay, all right. Well, ma'am, please tell me, what happened with this robbery? Well, my car was stolen. If you cared to ask. I literally did ask. And I know who did it. You know who stole your car? He looked like a super hardened criminal. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. He's probably like robbed tons of banks and stuff. I bet he's like really dangerous. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. All right. That bird scared the cripe out of me. Okay, ma'am. Do you know where we can find this criminal? Yes. I saw my car at plot 11. You need to go now. Plot 11. You hear that, Carrie? There's a criminal living over at plot 11. The thief that stole this lady's car. Well, you better go get his eye then. Oh, Carrie, watch the language. Okay, ma'am. Don't you worry. I'm going to go over there and get your car. Please just wait here at the police station where it's nice and safe. I'm coming with you. Ma'am, I don't think that's a good idea. This could be very dangerous. Like you said, he's a criminal and I'm a police officer. Uh, kinda. But seriously, I don't think it's a good idea. You and your bird should stay here. I am coming with! Okay. Oh my god, jeez. All right, jeez. Uh, you can, you can come. All right, let's go. Okay, you can ride shotgun in the car, guys. Plot 11 is right over there, guys. It's literally right down the street, so the criminal could be right here. And, uh, <gasps> what the heck? She's grabbing a gun. Ma'am, I'm sorry, you cannot use that. Please, put that down. Uh, that's not safe. Self-defense, I'm taking this. Uh, okay, guys, something I got a bad feeling about this. All right, lady, well, oh, hold on, sorry. I forgot to say bye to Carrie. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Todd, good luck. All right, guys, plot 11 is right there. What took you so long? We gotta go now. Okay, guys, we're here. This is plot 11 right now, and... To be honest, the gate's open, so I'm just gonna, like, pull right in. Okay, you stay here. I'll make sure that everything's safe, all right? Don't worry. We'll get your car back. All right, guys. I'm going up right now. They said this could be dangerous, so I'm actually gonna pull out my SWAT shield right now just to make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna ring the doorbell. And honestly, guys, there's, uh... She said she saw her car here, but I don't see any car here. All right, whatever, bro. I'm just gonna look around, see if I can see through the windows and... There he is right now, actually. All of his blinds are closed, guys. That's actually pretty suspicious, but never that matter. All right. Uh, this guy could just be in disguise. He looks like he's wearing some sort of tooth outfit. His huh? door's not even locked. You know what, guys? I'm just going to bust in there right now, okay? And freeze! Freeze! You're under arrest! Brookhaven police! Uh, 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 Brookhaven police! Brookhaven. Listen, sir, I know what you've done. Where's the stolen vehicle? What is this about? Stolen vehicle? Sir, I'm investigating a crime. Please cooperate with me. I didn't steal any vehicle. I haven't done anything wrong. The only thing I've stolen are cavities. <laughs> I'm a dentist. Wait, he does look like a dentist, guys. And you know, I didn't see any stolen car. And Bro's literally sitting in here watching Brookhaven Dental. Uh, who else would be doing that other than a dentist? Literally, no one watches that show. Guys, I don't understand. Like, that lady, she literally told me that this guy stole her car and she knew exactly who it was. Do you think there was, like, a miscommunication or something? So, what's really going on here? Um, well, sir, we actually got a report that someone at this plot was stealing vehicles. That's ridiculous. Who would bother stealing a car? Guys, this whole thing is just so weird. Like, it doesn't make any sense. This guy is clearly, like, a dentist. Definitely not a criminal. I don't know why that... <gasps> the lady, the bird lady's in here. Hi! Jessica? Uh, you two know each other? Um, can someone please explain what the heck's going on here? It's been so long since we've last seen each other, hee <laughs> hee. Unfortunately, yeah, we know each other. Guys, she's literally like backing Eddie out of his own door. He said, uh, gotta go. Wait, now she's chasing him. Wait, everyone stop and she just pulled the gun on him. Ah, uh, Jessica, please don't kill me. Jessica, freeze. What the heck's going on here? Stop ignoring me then, Eddie. Officer, help me, please. Oh my God, guys. I don't want to have to do this, but uh, guys, I just had to handcuff Jessica. She was literally just pointing a gun at this guy. Let me go. Let me out of these things. Sir, can you please tell me what the heck's been going on here? This psycho has been stalking me for months. She's obsessed with me. What? You're a stalker? You really lied? I filed a complaint with the Brookhaven PD months ago. 
didn't you see the papers? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, our filing system's kind of been a little weird. This lady and her dang bird are always following me around. Why won't you just accept me? Accept <laughs> us. I'm allergic to feathers and crazy people. I tested your blood. You're not allergic. Huh? Oh, my God. She tested his blood? That's a weird police van. Uh, no, there's nothing weird about it at all, actually. It's just a regular issued police van. It's missing the bulletproof glass. What? This? How, how can you even tell? Are you even really a Brookhaven police officer? Oh, uh, would you... <clears throat> look at the time. I, got, I gotta go back to the police station and take this lady to her cell. You said something earlier like Brookhaven... Two. Oh, okay, lady. Get in the car. Now, let's go. You're under arrest. And again, so sorry about this, sir, okay? <laughs> We're gonna lock this crazy lady up for good, and you'll never have to deal with this again. I promise. Uh-huh. Good luck with crazy Jessica. Okay, guys. Well, we're gonna get the heck out of here, all right? Definitely was not expecting things to go that way. Eddie, no! All right, lady. Keep it down back there. All right, guys. Let me get her back to the police station. Wait. Did you guys hear that? Somebody's robbing the Brookhaven Bank right now. Who the heck is robbing the Brookhaven Bank? Wait, wait, there goes a the car. Oh my God, bro, we're gonna follow that person. I'm pretty sure that was the person robbing the bank. Oh my God, and they're flying, bro. I gotta turn the speed up on this thing. Dang, we're so slow. Hold on, Jessica. Uh, And tell your bird to be hold on too. Where the heck did that car go, bro? Oh my God, I see him. Oh my God, they're flying, bro. Wait, and they're stopping. Hey, guys, oh my God, they just crashed. Okay, I'm gonna turn around too. This van has terrible turning radius and they're turning around, they're trying to get away. We are in an intense speed chase. Slow down, we're gonna crash. We're not gonna crash, I'm an amazing driver. I'll never see Eddie again if we crash. Shut up, okay? You're never gonna get to see Eddie again either because you probably have like a restraining order against the guy. Oh, guys, crashed again. Oh, guys, crap, this thing is terrible turning radius. Wait, they're coming to a stop. Wait, guys, he just hopped onto the car. Hey! Freeze! Hi! He's shooting at me! Oh crap, guys! I gotta get back in the car. I need some cover. Hey! You! Crap, guys! This is dangerous! Hey! Get the heck out of here! Crap, guys! He's getting back in his car and he's driving away and I didn't even notice, but he popped a tire! Crap, guys! Oh, I don't know how we're gonna catch him now. Oh, the, the turning on this thing is terrible. We're gonna crash! Oh no! There's no way we're gonna be- Oh, guys! Oh! Oh, oh my god, guys! I think I just, like, broke my neck. My head! Oh, guys! This poor lady. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you involved in this whole thing, but also, you wouldn't have been here if you didn't lie to me in the first place about, like, that guy stealing your car. If you just leave me alone with my Eddie, none of this would have happened. No, and if you didn't lie about Eddie, none of this would have happened either. I would have never been by that police chase, and I would have never have had to crash my police car. You're probably not even a real, actual police officer. And your lucky poncho is safe. Ah! Oh, yeah? Well... Oh, guys, I'm getting a phone call. Keep that dog quiet, lady. Hello? Carrie, what's up? Right what? What are you talking about? Uh, there are a lot of cars with a lot of sirens are outside the station right now. Police! I'm making out for a town. See you on the other side. What? Did you guys hear that? Oh my god! Carrie's getting arrested by the Brookhaven police? We gotta get back over there and... Hey, where'd that girl go? What the heck? Hey! What the heck? Don't you ever try and run away from me again, alright? I'm fast as heck. Alright guys, well, I made it all the way back to the police station and... Oh my god, guys, Carrie wasn't joking. There's literally police swarming this place everywhere and... I don't know what happened to Carrie. I don't know if they got him, bro. I almost got away too. Wait a second. Is that who I think it is? Eddie! Hey, lady, get back here! Oh, um, excuse me, fellow officer. Uh, how's it going? Officer, that's him! The fake cop. Uh, I'm not a fake cop. Sir, you know impersonating a police officer is illegal, right? I'm not impersonating any sort of police officer or anything like that. It says this is your home, right? Um, <clears throat> it, it, it does. It does appear to say that. And uh, what does that sign say up there? Oh, um, <clears throat> Brook, Brook, uh, Brook, Brook, uh, Brookhaven Police. There's no L. It's an R. Do I look like I'm joking around? This is a very serious matter. Oh my god, guys, and Eddie and Jessica over there are still arguing. Okay, officer, listen, can I can I talk to you privately, please? Listen, man, I gotta level with you. Being a Brookhaven cop sucks, bro. I totally understand why you guys don't want to deal with anything, bro. Every problem that someone has in Brookhaven is literally total baloney. Every problem that you guys got to deal with in Brookhaven is literally total BS, bro. It's like, can these really be everyone's problems, bro? Like, no wonder you guys don't ever want to answer anyone's calls. <laughs> this guy gets it. So, you know, officer to officer, how about we cut a little deal? Uh, I'm listening. Okay, I will close down the police station, and you can take in those, like, those two people over there, Eddie and Jessica. You can you can arrest them and just, you know, say they were being disorderly. I like that idea a lot. Instead of just one, it's two. Please, get help, Jessica. You're both under arrest. Please, no. Hey, I get to be with my Eddie. Keep me away from her. In the car. Good police work, Todd. 